What's up everybody, this is Derek here, and in this video we are going to be taking a look at the first of many hidden or secret loot locations in Miramar, the desert map, the new one that just came in PUBG Mobile 0.5.0. So obviously these are pretty subjective, you know, what's hidden or secret. Uh, these are mostly just going to be loot locations that are either not on the map but are worth checking out, or ones that uh, most people probably don't know about because, well, they just don't really stand out. So what we're gonna be doing today is first taking a look at a hidden mine. So I know a number of you asked in the previous video, are there any bunkers or underground structures or anything like that in Miramar? Well, this is the first. We're gonna be taking a look at the mines today. They are not officially marked on the minimap. They are south of Los Leones. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I am unfortunately awful at Spanish, so I'm sorry if I'm saying it terrible. Um, basically, this is a south, like a southern drop location, so this isn't always going to work. It kind of depends on where the plane is flying. Of course, this time it happens to be flying down right near the mines. So you can kind of find the mines. It's rather difficult to find them, but because they're not marked well at all on the minimap. However, they are southeast of that compound of little circular buildings that is south of Los Leones. So you can see here, I'm gonna mark the entrance. The plane's flying basically right on top of them. There are three entrances to these mines. And I am so glad that whoever designed the mobile version, thank you so much for making that these brighter and easier to see in because in the PC version, they are cool, but they are super dark and kind of spooky and uh, just very difficult to see. And that wouldn't have translated well on a mobile game. So I'm glad that they kind of brightened them up a little bit and makes them a lot more approachable. So this time I think I'm gonna wait until the plane is right over the mines and then I'll just drop straight down. You can see that they still do not stand out and this is why so many people probably don't know where they are. Uh, they are, I said south, they are south of Los Leones, they are southeast of the water treatment or water storage tanks, those big circular tanks that we were just flying over. And doesn't look like much, but this is one of the entrances. So we're gonna swing around and try to line this up. I should have swung a little bit later. I'm coming in a little too high at this point. Uh, nothing to really do about that. That's okay. We're just gonna take some damage when we drop. Now we'll have to heal that up. So this is one of the entrances. This is the northernmost entrance. There are three entrances and basically they all connect to each other and the mine is basically within the middle of all of them. So it's kind of like a, uh, a giant semicircle with a line through the middle of it. And that's how the, the map kind of looks. Uh, you can see nothing too crazy yet, just some pistols. I'd say that this is a very average place for loot. You'll find that I do find some decent loot here, but it's not the same as, uh, as like Hacienda or something where you're getting a ton of level three stuff. But you'll see there is some decent equipment here. So we're up to an Uzi and an Ump now. Those are not bad. They use, of course, the same ammo, so it's not a huge deal, at least not this early. But, you know, we kind of want to find something better, really. And like I said, I'm glad that this is nice and bright in here and easier to see. Of course, even though the plane flew directly overhead, there's nobody else. It kind of is boring, honestly. So I'm hoping that some people drop here after watching this video because it'll make those early game fights a little bit more fun. Here's a Car 98K. That is a good find as well as some 762, of course. So we have our sniper rifle. We don't have any scopes for it yet. However, we have an M416 over here. So we'll change that out for the ump. I accidentally changed back to the ump. There we go. And uh, wow, that's pretty good. So now we've got an M416 and a car, which is a pretty decent loadout. So I'm going to swap to the scar and then swap back to the M416. That way we get the ammo from the scar. There are these tunnels. There are two of these tunnels that actually connect each branch of the mine. So like I said, there are three entrances and three main branches of the mine. I'm gonna swap the mini again. We'll put a compensator on the AR just to get more ammo for the M416 because it tends to eat through it pretty quickly. So there are two connect, you know, so basically there are three like veins of this mine and there are two tunnels that connect each vein. So this one connects, you know, A to B and the other one connects B to C or whatever. So here is an AK, um, AKM and an M416, another one. So I think we'll swap out again. And at this point I have over 200, I have 230 rounds of 5.56. I've got plenty of 7.62. So we are pretty well set in that regard. Could use for uh, some more healing items, of course. We have level two everything right now. So we have a level two backpack, level two armor, level two helmet. And this is very much what I tend to find here. 
like I said, there's not a ton of level three stuff, but there's usually some decent level two stuff. It's very mid-tier loot with the option to occasionally find the decent thing. Like, I mean, I call the M416 a great weapon. The Car 98 is a pretty good weapon. So, you know, I'd say that, like I said, they mid-tier, but with the option to potentially find some decent stuff. There it looks like another soda. We'll go ahead and grab that or an energy drink. There's a level three backpack, so that's pretty good. There's another M416, so I don't even know. Will we swap it? I guess we'll swap it. Now we've got 320 rounds. I mean, I'm, I'm set, honestly, in ammunition now. And we have a red dot. I'm going to swap that for the hollow. I do not like the hollows that much. I'm going to free up some inventory. The hollow graphics uh, tend to just obscure more of your vision than the red dot. That's why I'm using that. The red dot, yeah, there's an ammo bag for the car and, and an M16. So we've got even more 5.56 and now we've got 350 rounds, which is probably overkill, but you eat through it, especially if you're keeping it in auto mode. So this is kind of like the middle of the cave right now. This is, or the middle of the mine. This is where they all the tunnels kind of converge. So now we'll explore that last vein that we haven't gone down yet and we'll see if there's anything good here. Most of the good stuff seem to be near the middle. There's a two times scope though, we'll take that. Sure, we'll put that on the car. Now we have a red dot on the M4 and then a two times on the car. I'd like to see a four and eight, but perhaps that is too much to ask. Uh, two times is still better than nothing for sure. See if there's, it doesn't look like there's anything else there. Now it looks like we're up to uh, going through that other tunnel. So the second of the two tunnels that cuts between veins and whoa, there is an eight times. Okay, well, well then. So we'll, we'll swap the eight times to the car. Maybe we'll put the two times in the M4 just for fun. Uh, we also have the red dot, so we have the option to use either. Got a ton of healing items, boost items now. That would be a good idea to, to uh, use those at some point because we did take some fall damage going to go through the rest of this little tunnel here just to make sure there's nothing else and now I'll show you a really cool spot if there are other people here this is a really easy way to kill them you can actually take so from either of those two tunnels you can take the stairs up and you go up to this overlook it's kind of like a scaffolding that runs over the mine and this is a great spot to snipe people off of because especially if they don't know you're up here you, you pretty much can shoot down you have a great vantage point and uh, you know and there's really nothing giving away your location until you start shooting. So it's just a great spot to engage people. So we'll go ahead. You can hop down to these side ones. You have to be a little bit careful here that you don't fall off. But these side ones will actually, uh, this scaffolding will take you all the way to the entrance. So as you'll see here, now we have a car with an eight times scope on it, which is a pretty deadly combination on this map. So you could actually even prone here. So you could actually go out to the edge of the scaffolding and it doesn't work once someone knows where you are. But for now, if you you know saw somebody, you could definitely have a pretty good vantage point where you can look out of the mine and it's very difficult for them to see you because you're kind of in the shadows of the mine. So you really don't stand out. So you can see here, which I'm just dragging the eight times along and showing you what I can see. But it's a pretty good sniping location, at least until you know you get those first few shots off, and then people know where the bolts are coming from. But so that is the mine. That's it's pretty neat. And then from here, once you have looted up the the mine, looted up all the veins, I think we're just gonna go ahead eat, drink some energy drinks in the open. Not a good idea. But uh, I'm pretty sure no one's around here at this point. So what you want to do now is you generally want to either go to the road and find a vehicle or work your way up to the northwest to these houses that are just south of Los Leones. So hopefully this uh, video helps you out. This is the first of many secret or hidden locations. I mean, obviously, you know, they're not super hidden, but if you don't know where the mines are, they're not really well marked on the map. And I don't know, people must not know about them because I've never seen anybody there yet, which like I said, is cool. It's good for me, but it's kind of boring, honestly. So I'd say that this is good for solo. It's good for duos. For squads, uh, I don't know if there's really enough good loot to be able to fully equip a squad. I'd say it's more of a solo or duos location. I mean, squads, if you want to also loot these houses, maybe, but just know that you're going to be going into those early fights with maybe one or two people with good, ar you know, good armor, good weapons like this. And then the air people are probably going to have, you know, micro Uzis and level one helmets and stuff. So not a huge deal. However, I said, you know, I think it's more of a duo. Duos is probably the best, honestly. Solo could get intimidating if you're going up against other teams. If people start dropping here, 
but at least for right now, solo or duos, you know, it's a great location. So not underrated because it's very mid-tier loot. However, it's uh, it's pretty good for what it is. And I said, I've never really seen anyone there. It hides away, it's not on the map, and now you know about it. So if this video helped you out, definitely give it a thumbs up to help the channel grow. And consider subscribing if you haven't already for tons more PUBG Mobile content. My name's Derek G, and I hope to see you on the battlefield soon, or in my Discord server, which I'll also leave a link to down below.